So I don't know what I keep doing, I keep ending up a little festivals, street parties, fairs. So yeah, before I rest for this evening, I go and take a wonder. Min's brand new Citroen C4. Nice car. EV. Completely electric. I've been out the country since they've been popular. I think the only really things were Nissan Leafs. In fact, no, I have drove a Nissan Leaf. I have drove a Nissan Leaf because I remember I had to get it put on the back of a recovery truck because it couldn't charge anywhere because the chargers weren't working. I found myself in a very, very similar predicament today. So, I picked up this car on Friday with 11 miles on the clock, 200 miles range on the battery. After 130 miles of driving, there is no range left. And uh, yeah, I didn't use the aircon. I didn't have the radio on too loud. I didn't have the lights on or the lights on automatic, but it was daytime. It wasn't wet, so there's no wipers being used. Uh, and I stuck around 60, 65 miles per hour. I just find something that's a little bit quicker than a lorry and sit behind there because I knew that there would be drama getting this back. Now, I did try and stop a few times on the way back and every time I pulled off into a services that had an EV charging point, they were all full because obviously the schools have broken up and everyone is traveling south for the summer holidays. This morning I left early, very, very early. It was either go to Tesco's and use their 7 kilowatt charger and not put enough range in and be there for 5-6 hours or come to a rapid charger and probably spend around an hour. So I come to a rapid charger. When I got here I had 8 miles left and my delivery is probably about 20 miles away. It's not too far. But I can't risk breaking down in a brand new car, having it stranded on the road and I can't deliver a brand new car to a customer without at least having some range in there for them to go out and enjoy it for for the day until they have to put it on charge. Now, it's all good and well. There is plenty of places you can go to go and charge up these EVs. And today I am at Strawberry Fields, just down in Devon. And I've come to, I don't even know how you say the name of the, the charge points that's here. But anyway, these are the charge points. Yeah, there's quite a few. So a number of bays, some people here charging their vehicle. This is a rapid charger. The whole reason for coming here is you charge up very, very quickly. Within an hour, you should have 200 miles range. Card payments. Now, you don't just pay for what you use, you pay up front. So for this one, it's £45 that you pay up front and then they reimburse the card with whatever isn't taken from the £45. I had no money in the account this morning that would reach that, that goal. I had no money that would, would let this process through. And then when I finally managed to make some money happen to carry on with my day so I can earn some money, my card's declined because the bank has frozen the card because it's unusual spending activity. So I just had to sort all that out. Now it is close to... It's half past nine. It's half past nine, no, Monday morning. I would have liked to have been delivered on my way to my next job by now. And in fact, heading towards my second job of the day. By this sort of time, I'd like to be in my second vehicle or en route to the second vehicle that I'd be taking. But anyway... That is such as life, it's how life goes. It's just the first couple of weeks of me being back in the UK. 
Things are going to be a bit tougher because I, I don't have the money to spend to do the job. And sometimes you have to spend the money to earn the money. And that is the process that we're going through at the moment. But a couple of observations of driving an EV. I, I like it. I've never thought that I would be interested in an electric motor. But driving through the streets quietly, not having uh, the noise when you're just stopped at traffic lights on your own. It's nice, the inconvenience of charging up, yeah I could have charged it where I'm staying but I'm actually living in a caravan so I can't really charge an EV from a caravan and there's no way of me getting my expenses back because I can't prove how much money the car would take to give it a charge. Now that I have put it on charge though, the whole car is vibrating, like I can feel, I can feel the car vibrating, it's like maybe the, maybe the batteries are bubbling, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, very, very strange setup to do. So, and uh, yeah, this is the car. It's in a lovely, lovely colour. So, yeah, quite like that. Quite like that. Really like that. And the charge points when you come to the charge points. Yeah, so far, this is taking 15. Maybe we stop it very, very soon. Maybe we stop it now. We can do with that. Okay, so that was that was that done. Uh, I have no way of seeing how to get the receipt. No way. Okay, that's the rapid charge back in. So now finally, I can actually get on the road make this delivery and carry on my day and earn some money. Obviously, kettle and uh, coffee and uh, coffee here for this morning. So now I make myself all dry and uh, we go and make some moves. So much has happened in the last couple of days. I actually walked away from the job that I was doing. You see, I have no problem working. I have no problem doing the manual labour. I have no problem doing the long hours and the late unsociable days. But what I do have a problem with is when organisers and planners can't plan something sensibly that I can actually earn the money. So yeah, I've uh, not been making enough money with the job that I was doing. Uh, the problem was, is not going home 
with a vehicle some nights, which means then it's public transport in the morning, which means then I can't pick up until after half past eight for most places, and then I can't deliver. Then I can't deliver until mid morning, early afternoon, which means I'm late for a carryover, which means that then I have to stay in a B and B, which then means I have to wake up early and get public transport to get another collection. And there's other people that work for the same company and they get keeper keys. They manage to, yeah, manage to bring in the good money every single day. So I handed in my trade plates and hopefully I go over to a new company uh, within this next week because I'm yeah, down to nothing. The whole reason for me coming back to the UK is to make dreams happen. But yes, I really need to get my finger out of my backside and find a job that's going to pay me a good wage so that I can make the better wage happen for myself in the future. Yesterday I arrived in Mid Wales, I come to stay with a friend for two nights. There is a gathering that maybe we go across to and see if we can get in for free. 